bring it back. Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Evo Lodge and today we are back with another episode of Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. So in this week's, well this week's, today's episode we are going to be rebuilding this Bentley. I think it's a four and a half litre blower it's called. Um, it's a little bit different to anything else I've done uh, in the game so far. So I have uh, basically sorted out the bulk of the suspension, took the engine out. Uh, we've still got a little bit of body work to do. I've sorted out sort of the central body work, but we've still got some of the uh, sort of mud guards, exhaust, lights, that sort of thing to sort out. And we've got the engine to do. Now, as almost always is the case in my videos, although well, not all the time, uh, this is modded content, so the engine isn't perfect. That isn't obviously a four and a half litre uh, Bentley engine in the game, so uh, they've had to make do. It is at least in N94 like it should be, but it's in this god awful green for some reason. Um, so <laughs> I don't know why that is but let's basically get this thing stripped down get it rebuilt get it back in the car and see what we can do um, so take the radiator fan off you know there's other problems with its engine such as the addition of a power steering pump which um, is a little random I can't imagine uh, an early Bentley had a power steering pump although I imagine it much needed it at slow speeds uh, so we're just taking off the water pump, the alternator, um, and some of the early timing gear. Get the alternator off. Uh, the timing cover. And then the timing chain. Cam gear. Right, so then we want to take the engine head off. So we've got all the air filter set up. That's the air filter. Air filter base, oil filter, take that out, uh, we've got the HC leads, the ignition leads, and we've got these stupid little clips you have to take off to get the distributor open, then we can dismantle that as well. So let's pull the spark plugs out. Um, at least it is a four-cylinder engine. The the, the four and a half litre Bentley was also a four-cylinder engine, so that's at least something that's uh, in keeping. Um, I think this is supposed to be. I think the blower is supposed to be the supercharged model of the Bentley. Um, by all accounts, rather unreliable. I think it was uh, supposedly not as good as the uh, just normally aspirated one. Uh, but I think it supposedly did quite quite well in the Le Mans series in the early twenties, mid twenties Le Mans. Um, and that is about all I know about the car, I'm afraid. But let's just get this exhaust manifold off. Fuel pump. All these are bits I'm never going to have remembered to pre-buy, so we're going to have to have a a lot of shop visits, I fear, in this in this episode. Right, so let's get that off. Now we're going to go to the engine stand and flip this thing around. So we'll get to the uh, oil sump at the bottom. Take that off. Uh, then let's basically just take all the rod caps off and get the four pistons out. Like so. And, oops. One more. Okay, then let's pull the four pistons out. And then we should be able to pull, oh, obviously take the crankshaft bearing caps off first, and then we can pull the crankshaft out. So, let's take them off. Three, one more. Um, we're also going to have to take, I've just remembered, obviously all the clutch assembly and the flywheel off first. The release bearing, pressure plate, and then there should be the actual clutch plate, and then behind that should be the flywheel. Clutch plate, and there's the flywheel. So then we should be able to pull out the crankshaft, like so. Uh, oh, there's the camshaft in the bottom. Okay. Slightly uh, unusual arrangement, I guess. We're pushing the valves there. Okay, and then dismantle the block. So we have basically got the engine dismantled. So we'll head over to the repair table. And let's just quickly smash through everything and get as much repaired as we can. Uh, we're going to have to have some visits to the shop because not everything is going to get repaired. Um, but we'll just have to do that as we go along. Okay, so 
We've smashed everything getting it repaired. Let's start to get this engine rebuilt. So first things first, obviously the main block. Still in green. Um, uh, fuel filter. Let's put the exhaust manifold on. Yeah, it's a shame it's uh, uh, not not more custom customizable in terms of its colour and uh, sort of livery. It would be nice if we could stick like the Bentley uh, sort of strip across the top uh, as was in the car. That'd be pretty cool, but unfortunately, it's not something available in the game that you can do. So we'll get that bolted on. Um, of course, I'm doing this upside down, which is making it rather confusing. So let's just first things first drop the crankshafts in, camshafts. Um, we'll do the flywheel later. And then let's put in the four new pistons. I forgot to get some piston rings. There we go. Oops, I can't get out of this menu. So let's go to the shop and get some piston rings. Told you I'd forget things. Uh, piston ring. So we want four of them. Um, back to assembly mode. So we'll drop now in the four pistons. Another one there. Number three. And the last one. And we'll secure these down with the rod caps. On each one. Uh, we should probably, in theory, have actually secured the crankshaft first. Would have probably been the most logical thing to do. Um, but this game lets you do things in the wrong order, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's put the uh, retain the crankshaft. Three of them. Number two, and the last one, and then we should still be able, then we should be able to stick the sump back on the bottom, like so, and then we can flip the whole thing back round so we're uh, facing the right way. So let's go to the engine stand, rotate, rotate, uh, and now things are looking a little bit more normal. <laughs> so we'll stick the head back on and get that bolted down. God, this has got a lot of bolts in this engine head. And the last one. Okay, so let's have a look at because of this side of the assembly. Um, so we've got to get them. Water pump. Ah, oh, the water pump repaired. That's something. So I've got to get two arms. Um, I don't imagine I have a cam gear, no. So let's head to the shops. Um, arm. Do I want two? Oh dear. Is it arm A and arm B? Is it those two? I think it must be. Um, we want a cam gear like that, and then or was it that one? Now we'll get that one as well, just in case. Um, let's have a look at. Oops, it helps if I can spell. Basically, the auxiliary belts. Um, it's just remembering a, a case of remembering which ones I actually want. Maybe that one. Um, could be that one. Or it could be oh, probably those ones. Let's have a go and see how that gets us on. So, oh, water pump pulley. I immediately forgot something. So, let's get the cam gear bolted on. Timing belt. I think I forgot that. Yep, I did. So, we want the timing belt or timing chain, actually, I should say. Um, timing chain of that one and the water pump pulley. Is that one. So let's head back, get the water pump pulley dropped into place, um, doesn't need anything retaining it, and the new timing chain. So we should be able to put the timing cover back on, which we can. Thankfully you don't have to set up the timing chain in this game, saves you a, a bit of time. Bolt some of the engine mounts back on to the side. Oh, I assume the engine mounts are perhaps not engine mounts, are just a uh, mounts for the auxiliary things like the alternator. I'm not entirely sure it would have uh, really had an alternator or if it would have just been a I certainly wouldn't have had a power steering pump. It might have just been a dynamo I would have thought in a, on a, an old uh, Bentley. Uh, what else have we got? Crankshaft pulley. I bet I haven't. Oh! Spot of luck. Um, so, 79 belts. Well, I got the first one the correct one. And the second one was correct as well. And then it's bolt on a brand new radiator fan. There we go, so that's the auxiliary parts mostly set up on that side. Uh, so around here we've got the uh, the base of the oil filter, 
the oil filter itself, which is brand new, and the cover. Um, we'll do the air filter, which I've not got a new one of, I don't think. So we want an air filter. There we go, get one of them. Go the background. So we'll put the new air filter on and the rest of the cover. Then we've got the ignition coil um, and the distributor. So I need a new ignition distributor. Ignition. Uh, distributor. I might as well get a rotor as well and probably a new cap as well. And probably some new HC leads. Probably makes sense. There we go. So let's get that all to add on. Uh, the rotor. Cap. Um, oh, of course, I haven't put the spark plugs in yet. Let's drop the spark plugs in. Like so. And then we should have the H2 leads there. Yep. Drop them in. Uh, then what have we got this down this side? The fuel pump. Oh, that's uh, broken, isn't it? Definitely get another one of them. Uh, fuel pump. There we go. Let's go around this side. Mount the fuel pump. I'm sure to make it just be the air intake then, so the carburetor basically, I think, will be over here. Yeah, so we've got a nice new one of them. Put that on. Um, an air filter cover. One of them. Only a poultry 25. I can't imagine any part for a Bentley in real life costs only $25. <laughs> Imagine it'd be significantly more than that. Right, so our oh, obviously all the clutch assembly. Um, so let's drop that in. Uh, the pressure plate. Get that bolted into place, like so. Um, there should just be a little release bearing. Oh, I haven't got a new, haven't got a new clutch release bearing. Like so, brand new one. Um, and then let's just get that bolted on the back, like so. Excellent. So that's basically our engine rebuilt in a crude sense. Um, so let's take this off the stand. Um, take off the stand. Um, where has the engine crane gone? Over here. Let's grab that and move that to Carlist A. Then using the engine crane, we should be able to drop the new engine back in. Like so. So now we can move the engine crane back out of the way. Um, let's think about what else we need to do. So we need to now hoist the car back up. Um, and we basically want to put the gearbox back in and connect it up to the drive shafts, etc. So gearbox. Like so. Um, basically a drive shaft on the back. Get that bolted in. Excellent. Oops. Um, and just the starter is accessible from the engine base. Let's lower that down. Uh, ah, it's there. Starter motor. Obviously, I wouldn't want to bump start a four and a half litre <laughs> in line four. So, um, then it's a case basically of stripping down some of the rest of the damaged body parts and putting the new ones back on. So, uh, basically taking all these little bits off rusty headlights, um, all these sort of mud guards, all a little bit rusty. We've got I've got new parts all for these. Um, I'm not sure what condition that's in. That looks okay. We can leave the tyre there. Uh, the rear mud guard, uh, the rear exhaust, the brake lights on the back. Uh, we can leave it on a California number plate. I'm not too bothered. Um, the rear mud guard. That looks like about everything. So let's go back into new mode. I've got ready all the existing uh, new parts. So let's get these back on. Make everything start to look nice and shiny. So put that. Oops. Rear mudguard. 
we'll do in a second the the, uh, the bonnet, which is obviously the coolest bit. Um, the, the, the I think this is the supercharging part element of it, which uh, is sort of not very technical in this game for some reason. It's just been put on as a cosmetic part rather than sort of like a properly functioning part. But there we go. Uh, so let's put the... There we go. It's starting to look a bit better now. Uh, like that. And obviously, what car is complete without some leather straps to hold your engine cover down? There we go. So that's pretty much the car finished. Let's get it... Oh, no it's not, because I've immediately forgotten. Take my leather straps back off, open this back up, and let's put some oil in the engine. It's a problem with leather straps. They look cool, but they're a right pain to have to take on and off. Plug it in. There we go. Um, put the panel back on and then retie my leather straps. So let's put the car back on the ground. Oh no, don't want to do that. Going the wrong way. I want you to go down. Uh, I'm going to keep it in this sort of like British racing green. Uh, I think that's... A... Oh, why are you not going on the ground? Okay, since it's playing, being a bit silly, let's put it by the garage entrance. So let's take it out for the track and see what this thing can do. I think it looks pretty good in the British Racing Green, so I'm probably not going to change that. Although we could have a quick look in the paint shop to see if there are currently any liveries available for the car. Um, I don't know if there are. I doubt it, but you never know. It was a Le Mans car, so could technically do. Are there any liveries? No, there aren't any liveries. No, we'll keep the car that colour. Um, I like it that way. Let's pop out and set it to the racetrack. Oh, clip B is missing from the car. Okay, I have made an error. Um, I think I have left the clip off the ignition distributor. Um, let's move this car to the garage entrance so that I don't have to keep walking backwards and forwards every time I forget something. Then we have got to take this stupid bloody leather belts back off again to get to the engine. Um, let's have a look. I think it's, yes, these little clips here. I don't know why they ever bother modelling these in the game. Like, the, the supercharger is just like one whole cosmetic block which you don't fiddle with. And yet on the ignition distributor you have to put on a little blue metal clip, otherwise the car won't work. It just seems a really strange thing to be really picky around. I've never, never really understood why they bother doing that. But there we go, they did. So it is what it is. Let's try again. Hey, that's letting us take it out. Um, I don't know how much horsepower this thing's got compared to what it's supposed to have. I think in reality it had something sort of high hundreds, 170 to 200, something like that, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's going to have that much in this game um, because it's sort of defined what engine it's used. It's obviously taken that engine from another vehicle, probably one of the Jeeps. Um, so that's why it's, you know, that's probably why it was green. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a flying start. Uh, handles okay. Uh, bearing in mind I am using a keyboard, so it doesn't make this thing exactly the easiest to, ooh, thing to drive. Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. It's uh, certainly been a little bit of a different one compared to what I've normally done. Um, obviously, I normally do much more modern cars, and this is certainly the oldest car I've done, and I've never done an open-topped car before. Um, it looks a bit strange without a driver and a, a turning wheel there. But I hope you've enjoyed the vehicle nonetheless. Uh, are there, if there's any other cars you'd sort of specifically like me to see to do, um, or there's a mod you'd like me to try out for the game, or something like that, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to take requests and do specific cars. Thanks guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the next one.